Hey, welcome back guys. Today we're going to be doing a range test with the Firehouse Technology Light in the dark to see how far we can go and keep the drone within visual line of sight. Let's see, we're going to take off. It's dark right now, but we'll be able to see the lights once we head up. There's a car passing through. Right now I'm just, the height's at 67 feet. I'm going to reach the max, as the max that I can go. This is the lighting at night. I just wish the camera had a similar experience to that of the DJI Mimo because um, it could work wonders. Okay, so I'm going to set the drone to the direction I'm going to fly in. There's the town. That's what I'll be flying back to, but I'm actually going to be flying away. This light is amazing. It's blinding and it's hard to look at because it's right now below the drone underneath in the belly so that I can see it. But it's so bright that you don't even have to put it on the back of your battery. Um, so right now we're at 246 feet. Distance is four feet because I'm still above the house. And we're just going to raise up to a nice height and then just drift away. Uh, there's no wind. The weather's really nice. Uh, it's a cool evening. I'd say it's about 45, 50 degrees outside. And the weather is just phenomenal. It's been great for flying, actually. Uh, I'm not sure if any of you guys fly at night, but sometimes night you get the best footage, especially if you're near uh, Hoboken or anywhere in, in the suburban area where you can fly at night. Anyway, that's the direction we're going to go, which is uh, the bright lights you see back there is uh, New York City, which is a great view. And then you can see the planes flying uh, above way back, right? And we're just going to keep going the distance to see how far we can go until the uh, uh, bars run out. Usually when the bars run out, you'll get a yellow on your uh, DJI RC, um, but so far as you can see, the RC, uh, full bars, 90% battery, which is great. Um, right now we're at the distance of 703 feet at a height of 313 feet, which is really good. We've got 28 minutes left at 89%, and the drone's actually traveling. If you look down on the bottom uh, left-hand side where it says 0, 0 0.0 miles per hour, right and it says 15 so we're actually flying pretty slow just to conserve energy but even at full point i don't even think the drone remote is in um sport mode uh, i believe it's in um regular mode so it's you know so we're fine we're in neutral but a lot of times even if i'm in sport mode the drone doesn't fly as fast um, you know, why? I don't know. I'm not sure if any of you guys have that experience with your drone where you're flying it at full throttle and the maximum speed it will go is 15, maybe 20, maybe 25. But, it, you know, these are on certain days. It's like I can't tell when the drone's going to fly fast at full speed ahead. So you see we've reached the maximum altitude of 388 feet. By default, I have that set so that I'll never go um, above and beyond, but I always check this before flying and make sure before you fly that uh, you're not uh, going over or under that limit. Look at that. We're at 2,646 feet, right? The distance. Amazing. And I, this, this light is just phenomenal. It's so bright. It's blinding. I think I'd probably get more distance if I took a ladder, went on the roof, and um, and then just see how far it would go that way. But then that would be a little reckless because you do, you will lose a signal. It's up. Oh, look the bar. See the RC. It dropped a little bit at three thousand two forty seven, slightly. But once it goes yellow, I have to turn back. This is nice. Look at that maximum altitude reach. It's because I just wanted to see if I can just go a little bit higher. Because the higher you are, you can still see the drone. This thing is blinding. It's m amazing. We lost one, but ah, that's it. See the on the right, it just turned yellow. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to turn back now. Yep, there we go again. Oh, two bars. So, yeah, um, it's not worth it. I could still see the drone. The slight is just blinding. The um, firehouse technology arc. Wow, amazing. Yeah, let's turn back. So we got made it to almost. 3,300, but we're going to have to head back. We're at 80%, which is great. Still enough battery life 
to, to get us back to where we need to be. Um, you know, I just wish that uh, the RC lasted a little bit longer with the with the uh, reception but that's okay look at the city look at the small town we're flying back to it's it's, it's amazing great colors with everything so alive at night uh again this is uh, with uh autofocus uh you know the the camera setting not not a manual but it's still it's still pretty good lighting the lighting could be better but remember this is the gji mini 3 pro um with a uv lens on it and, uh, you know, it just could be a little bit better, but we have to start heading back now. And uh, let's see, we're at 2,075 feet, traveling at 16 miles per hour, pretty good speed. At the maximum height, that could be reached at 388 feet, which still isn't so bad, right? Because I always leave uh, a 10 a 10 foot or 20 foot buffer because sometimes the remote could be off. Right, so you just want to leave that buffer there so the drone doesn't go over um, than what it needs to, and uh, we're we're recording at 4K frames per second at 30 frames. But however, the resolution on the screen recording right is always going to be lower. See, here's a higher res, and which is great. That's at the 4K. And, you know, great recording, high resolution. You can always go down when you record. You can never go up. So if you're ever recording video for a client, do it at 4K. And um, you can always go down and give them the 1080, right? You convert it in your, your video editing software. And if they want to level up, then you don't, you don't have to go back and shoot. You can just say, hey, I'll give you the 4K, you know, for an extra K. <laughs> um, but, you know, whatever that rate might be that you have but definitely not in the case. Um, so yeah, look at that. Beautiful. We're almost there. We're at 667 feet at, at 380 feet. Lowered the drone a little bit, about eight feet. We got full bar, right? We got 31 satellites, which is great. Not really sure what that means. You get 31 satellites, which is awesome, but the uh, RC receiver still loses um, some reception sometimes, which uh, you know can be challenging. As you can see, the red, that, that red you see is actually the um, ah, normal sensors detected. That red you see is the obstacle avoidance, but um, it's uh, because I have the repeller guards on, and, you know, especially you're flying at night. You could be flying over cars or someone jogging and people, so you know, you just have to be safe. But this light is phenomenal. And we are spinning around, trying to get my bearings to try and um, bring the drone down because you can see I'm at 65 feet. Um, and the distance, basically where I need to be to, to land the drone in, in, in the yard. So here we are, we're descending. This was great. So the light's pretty blinding, amazingly blinding. You can see it from almost half a mile away, maybe even further. Um, I'm just trying to look at, get position. Look at that little park over there in the corner. That would make a nice picture. Um, maybe I'll go back one night and take a take a shot of that in the evening we're just going to descend because this was a great flight a great range test with the uh, firehouse light and we're just going to land the drone a little bit you know just get it in the position it's really tricky because as you can see there are trees and with obstacle avoidance uh, not working because of the propeller guards you really have to navigate everything and you can see the light reflecting off the street post sign which is pretty amazing it's bright it's blinding and I, I i i would say i recommend this light for sure um you know and always keep it charged let's see if we can just get our position to, to, to land without hitting the trees yeah and there we go anyway i hope this video helped you and you're able to make a decision when finding a light to guide you through the night and if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them down below and i'll see you all next time.